For President Trump and now convicted felon is insisting he did nothing wrong. The morning after a New York jury found him guilty of all the charges in a so-called hush money trial. Michael George reports from outside Trump Tower where the presumptive GOP presidential nominee spoke just a few hours ago. Donald Trump is vowing to fight on a day after a guilty verdict made him the first former president and presumptive Republican presidential nominee to be a convicted felon. This is a scam. There's a rigged trial. It shouldn't have been in that venue. We shouldn't have had that judge. 12 Manhattan jurors deliberating for more than 11 hours over two days found Trump guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records related to a payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election to keep her quiet about an alleged sexual encounter. The only voice that matters is the voice of the jury and the jury has spoken. Trump's lawyer Todd Blanche said the trial was flawed from the start. Because of everything around the, the lead of this trial, it, it made it very difficult for, for the jury to, 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 to evaluate the evidence kind of independent of what they knew coming in. Trump could face prison time, but many legal experts say that's unlikely. I don't see personally him being sentenced to prison time. I personally think there will be heavy fines um, and some sort of uh, heavy probation. Sentencing is set for July 11th, just days before the Republican National Convention. An early voter reaction appears split along party lines. I don't think he got a fair trial. I don't think it changed how I would vote in November. Boo hoo. I'm so sorry, Trump supporters. He went losing, so do you. The Trump campaign says it raised nearly $35 million in the hours following the verdict. Michael George, CBS News, New York. If Trump does become president again, he can't give himself a pardon in this case because this was a New York state conviction and not federal.